about the program. Um, it's essentially uh, a, an info session uh, where we give an opportunity to all interested applicants, um, people who are considering applying, but you're not really convinced, or um, just people who need more information in general, just about um, what we do at Zavoli or um, this or, or applying to this program, um, just how long it's, the rollout takes, etc. So um, today uh, we're going to be chatting with my colleague, Morisi. Um, Morisi, I'm going to allow you to introduce you. Thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Maurice Livenia. I'm the project coordinator here at Zivoli. Welcome to our information session today. And then we're also joined by Kosi Makolota, who is who was on the program, um, the, the, the first cohort, the 2023 cohort. She's going to be sharing just a couple of insights and overall takeouts of the program. Um, but just let me give you a little bit of background in terms of who we are. So we at Zavoli Growth Partners are an, an ESD implementation um, consultancy. We work with corporates who would like ESD strategies and um, who are big on impact. So if you're a corporate and you say, look, I need to spend this true BE um, allocation, but more than just doing a tick box activity, I want to have impact and I want to change the community or I want to, you know, uh, build black people um, in, in whatever industry that we work in. Then you come to us, we we kind of design a program for you and we do the end-to-end -end, um, recruitment of the program um, and implementation, as well as monitoring and evaluation. Um, I have about five programs under my portfolio. Yeah, five. Um, and I work closely with Morosi. And then Kula Cizwe, what is Kula Cizwe? Kula Cizwe is essentially um, an initiative of Barlow World. Um, they're the share scheme uh, that allows black people to buy shares. So together with the Zavoli Growth Partners, we've created a program called the Skulekaya Enterprise Development Program. Um, the Skulekaya meaning we grow at home is Kulasiso's commitment to staying true uh, to its ethos of enabling the growth of a nation by being a nurturing and supportive parent in the property space to the beneficiaries of the program. And by extension, the end users, its stakeholders, and the nation at large, with that background, Kula Caesar has launched its flagship initiative, the Kulekaya Landlords Program. This is an enterprise development program that is aimed at developing um, landlords in the townships. So here, we, the aim of this program is to help landlords um, who are, run small businesses to comply with municipal property regulations, uh, formalize their business operations to an, to have an to an appropriate standard, sorry, and then to have access to similar accommodation alternatives for business sustainability. So, what did I just say? Basically, <laughs> I want to just break it down. This program aims to work with um, landlords in, in Soweto, specifically in Soweto. Um, we just felt that uh, even though the first year of the program was based in Soweto, we want to do it better. We consider the first year of the program a pilot program. And so now we're, this is our official um, first cohort uh, that we're launching, uh, I guess, in the next couple of days. Um, applications are currently open at the moment. You would have seen on our social media pages um, that we're closing on the 5th of July, which is tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we are looking for people who basically, let me just share the criteria with you. We are looking for people who essentially have um, ownership of their properties. So let me break down what ownership of your property means. It means either you're in possession of a title deed or you can prove ownership. So even if you have a bond with the bank, but you can prove that ownership, um, we will accept you onto the program. You are again, so it's based your business is fully operational. So you're not an ideation or conceptualization stage. Um, your business is registered. You have a minimum of five tenants. Um, it can be an Airbnb, guest house, block of flats that you rent out to uh, students or um, private professionals. It's up to you, but as long as you're fully operational. And then what will we do for you once you're onboarded on the program? We're going to help you with business training, mentorship, um, property industry compliance, operational tools, branding and marketing, property and property enhancements. So what that means is that once you get accepted onto the program, we then uh, go through a diagnostic process um, and that entails site visits, as well as um, a property inspector coming to your property to get an understanding of what um, challenges you are experiencing or, or where the gaps are in terms of your property. 
and then we kind of put together a, a, a journey, uh, a program journey for you, so that we know that <clears throat> these are the particular interventions that we are we are going to be pursuing for you and your property and you and, and I guess your business, um, and then we kind of enroll you onto the soft skills part of the program, which is all those operational tools, software, um, business acumen training, and then there's the 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 the, the property inter the property enhancement intervention, and that's where we allocate. Um, some spend to your property and we do refurbishments so we get your property um either we improve it or or we say whatever it is that you were struggling to complete um we we jump in and say okay let's let's enhance this let's enhance that so that your property attracts more people or the exact target market that you're looking for um yeah so i think that's what the program is in a nutshell it's about if if i think I, I can contextualize it in terms of a period. It's about six to eight months of um, business development support where you know we take you through each intervention um, and we guide you, you get access to mentorship, et cetera, um, in, so that you're able to, by the end of the program, say you've got a fully fledged business. Cool, happy with that. Um, I think I've explained, um, so yeah, I mean, who qualifies for the program? Everyone qualifies for the program, as long as you can prove the things that we discussed earlier on in terms of our criteria. Um, and then once you've applied, during the screening process, we will then have a look at your documents, supporting documents. And if everything aligns, we will then invite you for an interview. So um, I'm gonna hand over to Morosi to just take you through what the application form looks like um and then we'll do some frequently asked questions once we're done with that then we'll chat to Corsi and then we'll open the floor for some questions thanks lisa um mm -hmm. i initially wanted to share my screen but i also realized that um the application form that i have is actually showing other people's responses so i'm just going to take everybody and i believe that most of the people that have joined us today are the people that have already op applied for the program so today I'm simply going to take you through the questions that we have on our application form, which are quite straightforward. And then I'll also take you through the next steps after we have completed the screening process. And now that we have reviewed the application form, what for you should expect, what you should expect next. So on the application form, you will see that it has the criteria. It tells you about the program and then it takes you through the criteria and also our contact details. Should you have any questions for us, then you can always contact us on those numbers. And then you also have to acknowledge that whatever information that you put on the application form, it is correct. And uh, you give consent to us reviewing it and validating the information provided. So the section one of the application form is about the profile of the applicant. So you provide us with your name, your contact numbers, your email, your business name, as well as your full address. As Lisa has mentioned, this program is for people that are specifically in Soweto. So we need to be able to identify that you are indeed from Soweto. And then we have section three. So section three basically is about whether are you the title deed owner or do you have some form of ownership to the property and how long has the business been operating for uh, does the property offer a minimum of five bedrooms how many bathrooms you have and what is the current state of the property and what area of the property are you intending on developing? As Lisa has mentioned, that one of the benefits from the program is that we allocate some spent to your property to help you renovate or enhance some of the things that you feel that you need to make your property more attractive or to meet the municipal regulations. So you also on the application form, one of the questions asks you, what is the current use of the property? So here you tell us, is your property already rented out by professionals? Is it a student accommodation? Is it a guest house? And then you also spe specify if it is other. Is the property currently occupied? If yes, by whom? Then if it's not occupied, you also state. If it's occupied by yourself and family, you also let us know. By professional tenants only, by students only, by my family and myself or myself family and professionals only and you also 
one of the questions that actually required a bit of a long answer is why do you want to be part of the program? And then you just state on there the motivation why you would like to be part of the program after you have read the criteria, after you have also read what the program is about, what are you looking to actually gain from the property from the program, I'll say. And then um we're going to open another round of applications after we close tomorrow. So this one is just asking everybody to send us their documents, accompanying documents. So these documents will be uh, entailing the company registration documents, the proof of residence to show that you are indeed from Soweto, the three pictures of the property, as well as the copy of the title deed or any form of ownership that you have for your property. And then that's where the application form ends. Then on the next steps of the program, tomorrow when we close uh, the applications, on Monday, all the applicants should expect an email coming from me or Lisa. The email is basically going to be about requesting you to send us the supporting documents that you have said that you have. The supporting documents, we're going to put together a list of those supporting documents and some few screening questions to assist us in narrow, narrowing down the people that actually meet, meet the criteria. And yeah, that's it, Lisa. Uh, Lisa, you're mute. Oh, shucks, sorry. Um, Maurice, did we go through the FAQs? I think let's go through the FAQs. Okay, okay. Um, I believe we have touched those mostly, but yeah, I'll take everybody through the FAQs. So on the FAQs, one of the questions will be, what is the development program? As Lisa has mentioned, this, co this program is there to help you formalize, comply, and have access to similar accommodation alternatives for business sustainability. So when we um, have onboarded you into the program, that's where we take you through the process that is called the diagnostics program, where we identify your business need. And then from there on, we are able to um, implement these benefits or these program offerings to your business need as identified. And then, what kind of this support does the program offer? So the kind of support that the program offers is the business training, we have mentorship, we have property or industry compliance, operational tools, branding and marketing, and then property enhancement. What is the aim of the program? So the aim of the program is aimed at supporting anybody who is a title deed owner or anybody who has some form of ownership to properties to improve and develop their properties to become compliant, approved and attractive accommodation in the townships. Then the next questions will be who qualifies to apply for the program? The program is open to landlords who meet the following criteria. You have to be Soweto based, uh, property ownership or title deed or any uh, form of ownership. It can be a bank letter, anything that you can produce to show that indeed the property is under your name. It's uh, acceptable. You are fully operational business, uh, a minimum of one year. You are a registered business. You have a minimum of five units or five tenants. It can be an Airbnb, guest house or a block for flat. How long is the program going to run for? The program is an eight months program. Uh, within the eight months, that's when we take you through all the program benefits. There's going to be a schedule that is put together for all the beneficiaries. How does one apply for the program? You complete an online application form that I just take, taken you through. And then you also send the supporting documents once you have received an email from uh, one of the stakeholders from Zivoli, either myself or Lisa, then you send us your supporting documents for us to screen and review. So what are those documents that I will be needed? It's your ID copies, it's your business registration documents, it's your title deed or any form of ownership, it's the pictures of the property. 
when do the applications open and close? So the applications they opened on the third of June and they will close on the third of on the fifth of July rather tomorrow. They'll be closing tomorrow by close of business. Yeah. Is it only for Soweto? Yes, specifically for landlords in Soweto. What is the process followed after the applications? The process is as follows. So we're gonna screen the applications forms as I've uh, indicated before. We'll shortlist the applicants. We then invite everyone to present to a panel. Successful applicants to complete the assessments that we'll have uh, uh, after the, the interviews. And then we'll have an onboarding session for all the successful applicants that had gone through the, um, the interview process. And then we'll also have that process that we mentioned where we try to identify what is your business need, which is the diagnostics assessment, as well as individual growth plans for each business. And then we start with the business development, which is the implementation of the program benefits. How will I know if I have been selected? So throughout the process, we're gonna be communicating with the applicants and everybody else. So if um, you, you applied, you will get uh, an email saying whether you've uh, made it through the interviews or whether your application hasn't been approved. But there's going to be communication emails coming through once the application process has closed. How can I make contact if you want to know the progress of my application? You can always um, uh, send us an email at info, info at zivologp.com. And then you title your email Sikulekaya Landlord Program, or you can call our office, then we'll be able to assist you and give you the status of your application. This is after the application process has closed, of course. And that's about it. Awesome. Thank you, Moresi, for that. Um, I believe everybody's clear now in terms of what we're looking for exactly. Um, and then I think just from a pro program management perspective, we're looking for people who are really going to be committed onto this program. So often we see people who have a lot of energy at the start of the program. They go through the application process, they present themselves well, and then they and then they get onboarded onto the program and then they run out of steam. Um, we're looking for people who say, I will commit to this program for a period of six to eight months, if a little bit longer, maybe six to ten months, um, in terms of uh, yeah, six to 10 months. And then we just, we, we work together. It takes, it's a process for us to be able to diagnose you and also take you through the interventions as well as being able to say, you know, we've, we've shifted this, this, this being, this person who's applied on the program from where they were in terms of their form, informal structure into being fully fledged businesses who are compliant in terms of, of the property with also a, um, a completed enhancements. The and a property enhancement intervention is also quite strenuous is sometimes there's construction happening on your property um, or, or the property. So ideally we're looking for people who, who don't reside on the property um, just so that, you know, we can complete the property enhancements properly without it within the time frame that we're looking at without you know people having to come in and go and things like that but i mean you know we will determine that as soon as we're clear in terms of what we've decided um needs to be enhanced in your in your in your property we are working with a budget though so i mean when i say property enhancements it's not like you know they've got millions and millions to change my property um it's just enhancements here and they were helping you in terms of what your responsibilities are from a landlord's perspective um yeah and i think yeah that is the program in a nutshell we look forward to all going through all of your applications this year and um i hope they're good uh so that you know we onboard a really good crop of um program participants this year i am going to ask Corsi to turn on her camera Corsi, are you still around so Corsi is one of the beneficiaries on the program um we've only just closed the 2023 cohorts last week friday we officially signed off the properties and handed them over to the beneficiaries after the enhancements were completed and then all of the business development supports interventions were officially complete so i want you we just want to hear from Corsi in terms of how the program was for her what her program highlights are um and would she recommend this program hopefully you will 
aussi. <rire> Ok, uh, my name is Namako Ismakolota, owner of Sisana Properties. I own 28 units in Snawani, so we too. So the program uh, assisted me in um, in the enhancements, completing my project. And then it also helped me with training where I gained a lot of information regarding uh, property, business property management and turning the actual business, the, the property, the rental business into a professional business, like business company. Okay. Yeah. Right. And the highlights for me, it's um, the beauty, the quality and the professionalism. So standing outside of my units and seeing the final product, I mean, that is heartwarming and uh, the company branding as well. Okay, thank you, Kosi. And would you recommend this program to definitely? Other definitely, and I've recommended it, recommended it to a few people. Okay, great. Um, I think, Kosi, if there's anything else you want to share about the program, um, maybe people will want to ask you questions. Please stay, please stay online. Um, I'm going to open the questions to the floor. Does anyone have any questions? Um, you can either jot them down in the chat. Or you can, um, I don't know how Google Hangouts works. Is there an emoji that you can? Yes, so they can raise their hands. Mm. Okay. Mm. So if you have any questions, please do raise your hand or jot it down in the in the chat section, and then we will be able to respond accordingly. Okay, maybe I'll ask a question. Has everybody on this call applied for the program? I see a hand from Dineo. Okay. Oh. oh, I think everyone's just either saying, oh, raised hand, McDonald. Yes. Okay. Let's start with McDonald and then we'll do Bell and then Tantla. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, program Director Lisa, thank you for the introduction. Uh, Morosi, uh, well, what you presented made sense. Uh, I'm in Cape Town. Uh, but then I do actually, my business is situated in Soweto in the Val Triangle. And I do understand that uh, the program is aimed at Soweto, which is brilliant. I just wanted just to ask a few questions because um, I do have a title deed of uh, two spaces in the Val. And I wanted to know basically, when are you guys going to be reaching out to the Val Triangle, because Val Triangle is an industrial area, and then it it actually houses a lot of students. If you're talking about Purchase Room, VUT, a lot of VET, um, what TVET colleges, and basically your social back, and a lot of people who actually work within um, the steel company and you name them, so that we can actually um, put out posts and actually build on what you guys already worked on. That's all I wanted to know from that. Thank you. Okay, thanks, McDonald. Um, at the moment, we're just focusing on Soweto for the 2024 cohorts. Um, I think the closer we get to completing the 2024 cohorts, the, um, the more we'll hear from the clients in terms of the expansion of the program. So yeah, please stay um, tuned on our platforms. And then yeah, we should be able, we should be sharing that. Okay, thank you, Lisa. I'll definitely do so because I do have some inputs as well. And there is actually a lot that is happening. Uh, I recently spoken to Ubabu Peggy Twala about uh, your Kasi entrepreneurship in terms of your stock file and, and all that. But then based on development, it's an initiative that I actually um, working on and been working on for quite a long time. And having you guys being involved in it, it will actually steam up 
and help me to actually uh, open up a base so that I can be able to involve a lot of people into it. And base in Soweto to end the Val Triangle so that we can be able to accommodate one another. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay, um, McDonald, you're welcome to pop us an email. Um, you can send us an email to our email addresses. Um, I'm just trying to type it in for at Savoli gp.com i've typed it there uh there we go let me pin it that's that's our email address you can um send us an email and then we can chat further uh bell i'm sorry about that lisa i was not actually asking a question um i was just trying to figure out where my thumb is for the question you asked regarding if everybody answered um has applied to the program okay cool that's fine uh danza uh, good morning everybody um uh, my name is Ntanda. Uh, I just wanted to 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 find out uh, just a few things. Uh, in fact, uh, I started uh, my project in 2020. I've not yet finished because um, I'm building from my pocket. So the reason why I've applied, it's ever had that uh, you do assist there and there. So I'm just left with the chest just to finish up. Um, I've, I've I've registered a company, but I've not I'm not yet in operational. So I just wanted to find out whether. If I'm um, like as I'm saying, I've already registered the company in the, about 2020. Yes, so I'm, I'm not yet uh, op in operation. Uh, it's a student accommodation. Uh, uh, do, do I qualify for this? Oh. You've got student accommodation. Um, that's 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 my project. That's what I'm building. It's a student accommodation, but I've not yet uh, in operation because I'm still uh, struggling to finish. The, the the building um okay so yeah we take all kinds of accommodation um student accommodation private accommodation uh guest houses airbnb uh you can apply but the only issue that you probably have is the of being fully operational um we're, we, we're not looking for people who are in ideation phase at this stage you still have a concept but if you have a running business please do apply Okay, thank you. Because I've already applied in fact. Okay, okay. Ulani? Ulani, do you have any questions? Okay, doesn't look like Bulan has any questions. Um, are there any other questions? Oh, I see Khumuta's hand at the top. Hey, um, what's the question? Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Thank you, Lisa and Morrissey for um, the clarity and I have already applied under the company Livier Holdings. We are based in Orlando and I was, um, it was a recommendation from Kosi. Thank you, Kosi. My question is that with regards to um, the timing between the six to eight months, do we attend um, the program in person or is it going to be um, an online um, and how often do we need to then attend? Um, so once we've so once we've uh, completed the diagnostic process, we will then update the program design. And once we've updated program design, it is what will tell us how many sessions each intervention is going to have. Um, yeah. So we can't confirm now how many sessions there are. Um, we still are. We still yeah. We still need to conclude on certain processes before we can finalize what the rollout looks like. Okay. All right, no noted. Thank you so much. Uh, Ulani, do you still have a question? Uh, maybe unmute your mic. 
Oh, okay. oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't know that I'm moved. Uh, guys, I've been in this industry for 10 years now, and I'm renting families. I've got units that I rent uh, units for families in Cosmo City. It's not here in Soweto, but I'm a resident in Soweto. Am I uh, allowed to be part of this because I'm... I'm definitely seeing to upgrade my my property with some units. No, unfortunately not. For as long as the business isn't based in Soweto, then mm. we can't help. Um, but if your units and the business is based in Soweto, then definitely please apply. We can look at your application. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, I see no other hands. Maurice, you want to say something? There's some few questions on the chat. Um, we, we have one from Temba. So Temba is asking, hi, I have just got a property through a bond. Currently have three outside rooms, have done a plan for eight rooms. Are you able to help? Yes, I think yes, we do. Oh, he says currently have three. Three, yes. It's, um, have a plan like for eight okay. rooms. Um, I think, yeah, apply, we'll have a look at it. Um, as long as you meet a uh, majority of the of the criteria, this we can debate on. And especially if your business is already uh, operational. So please do, do apply. Okay. And then Tanden Kumalo has a similar question to the one that Homoto had. So he's asking, you have mentioned the commitment to the program for up to eight months. Will the meeting be in person and how many will need to be in person and on site in a month? Um, okay, so we will do a combination of in-person and virtual sessions. So I think maybe, I can't say for sure how many in-person sessions there are, but it's, 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 some, it's usually like one every two, three months. Um, where you'll be required to come in and you know uh, sit in for a masterclass, network with other beneficiaries on the on the on the supply development program, and other beneficiaries on the enterprise development program. Um, so yeah, it's it's not it's not it's not a, it's not a lot of times, but sometimes you are needed in person, especially for side visits. Side visits you you need it in person. I mean we can't can't go to your property without you, um, especially when there's construction as well. Um, but yeah, the closer we get there, the the, the more we'll refine um, the rules and, and and stuff. Yeah. Hope I've answered your question. Um, if you if you, if anybody has any other questions, um, please do put your, your hand up now. Otherwise, um, I'm happy to conclude the session. Um, so if you do, so please do apply, apply. If you know someone, if it's not you that maybe doesn't fulfill the criteria and you know somebody else who may be interested in the in the program um, and is aligned with the criteria, then please do share, to share it with them. Um, we're still taking applications tomorrow, close of business, which is 5 p.m. Um, and yeah, if you want to reach out to us, my email address is lisa, lisa at zavolygp.com. Um, or Morosi at um, zavolygp.com. Alternatively, just send an email to info and they'll forward whatever email you've sent to us and then we'll be able to respond accordingly. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for joining today. Uh, Morosi, do you want to say something? No, no, I just saw a question on the chat. Um, do we have to apply for you? Which link do we use for applications or are it to refer to people? So we have the, uh, uh, the application link on all our social media platforms, but I'm also gonna post it here on this chat so you can screenshot and uh, share with everybody else. Yeah, just copy the link. I don't know if it's gonna work if you screenshot. Mm. And then Temba has, a, I'm not sure if it's a question or a comment, we'll load my documents and thanks very much for the information, this will, this will a last legacy for our children and future generations. Yeah, I mean, I agree, Tim, but thank you so much for that comment. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at really changing um, the township community and building, you know, reputable accommodation and, and, and you know, so people can live in respectable dwellings. 
um, and also just be able to, you know, increase the tourism of the city, so of the town, I mean. So yeah, we are looking at building lasting legacies. Um, so do apply. We'll, we'll see you all on the other side of the application process. Thank you. And thank you for joining. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a good one.